is John T for the Boxing Voice. I'm down at Peacock Gym with Super Bantamweight Brooks Prospect, Chris Bork. How are you, Chris? Yeah, good, thanks. Just finished a hard session. Yeah, I've just watched it. It was hard, fair play. They didn't do any sparring, but just lots of session, yeah? Yeah, yeah, just uh, sort of groundwork and core stuff, really. Probably just as hard, isn't it? You, apart from getting it, it's just as tiring. Yeah, I think I'd rather spy than do that. <laughs> yeah, fair play, yeah. Well, look, we, we haven't spoke to you since your last fight. We spoke to you before the fight. Uh, and I'm sure I speak for anyone who watched it, it was dramatic and ended spectacularly in a second round knockout. I interviewed you and your opponent, Michael Ramavaletsa, before the fight, and a lot of fans out there and experts predicted it to be a 50-50 fight where probably expected you to be challenged a bit more than what you were. Uh, I'm assumed you were chuffed with the, uh, the actual result, but how did you find the evening? Yeah, you know, um, Michael's been in with a lot of good boys, I think a few world champions, uh, he's the English champion, so I was expecting a, a, a hard fight, a hard, I trained for a hard 10 round fight, um, but I caught him flush, and, you know, I got the job done early. I think some people might underestimate how much power you have because I think one or two, your, your knockout ratio is good. I think you've got six knockouts from nine wins now and you're still undefeated. But I don't think many people thought you would blow him away that well. Yeah, no, I think, um, he's, yeah, like I say, he's, he's boxed at heavier weights as well and no one's ever done that to him, so I think it made a statement. Yeah, he's very experienced and he's had titles himself. So, well done, mate. Brilliant oh, stuff you. and a, a bit of a statement live on that TV. So, uh, moving on. Um, we're waiting for Frank Warren to announce some cards over the next month or two. Are you hoping to get out on one of them? Yeah, of course. You know, I'd like to be out sort of maybe April time would be perfect for me, really. Um, but I just have to wait and see and uh, just make sure I'm training hard and doing what I can. Any idea um, who you might fight? No, no idea at the moment, you know. I feel in my head I've got the Southern area, I've got the WBC uh, International now. I beat the English champion. I feel like the British could be a possibility next. Or, you know, another title like that. Who's got that at the moment? Uh, Brad Foster. Yeah. yeah. Have you sparred Brad before? No, I haven't, no. Nah. Where does Brad train? To be honest, I'm not too sure. I think it's up north somewhere. Yeah, because yeah. that's probably the next step when I was thinking, you naturally, I know you didn't get the English title, yeah. but you beat the English champion, yeah. you just exactly. weren't fighting for it, and you knocked him out in the second round. So the next level probably is British, so that would be really good. Uh, and obviously in the gym here, you've got British champion in Denzel Bentley as well, so to join that company would be very, very good. Yeah, definitely. Just a quick one on a bit of sad news. Well, I think it was a bit of sad news for some uh, last week where the announcement that Daniel's not going to be in the gym anymore. How did you take that? Yeah, you know, it's a bit of a, a weird one, really, but um, to be honest, that's his business and that, I'm not getting involved or whatever um, he's doing, he's doing for his own reason, but uh, yeah, it's a bit of a shock, really, um, but all the best to him. Excellent stuff. I'm sure you wish him well there anyway, yeah? Cool. All right, well, what we'll do, Chris, um, hopefully we'll be an announcement in the next couple of weeks. I know Louis's expecting the same to be out on the card, and Denzel's expecting you might even all be on the same one, and we'll definitely be back down here per fight week or the week before. All right? Yeah, nice one. Cheers, Cheers Chris. Well done on your win, mate. Cheers, thank you. Thank if you me. enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon dot com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace